Thanks for the time at Oxford Scholarship Fund for this opportunity to join you this evening. We've already heard about leadership, and there is no doubt that Oxford University produces thinkers and leaders. The question is, or an important question is, does Oxford University produce wise thinkers and good leaders? And it was that question, and the obvious importance of leadership in the global context that serves the common good, the obvious importance of that question today in our current uh, global climate that lies behind the Oxford Character Project. We've been going now for two years, kindly supported by the Templeton World Charity Foundation. And there are really two aspects to our work. We're doing some academic research here at Oxford on character formation and leadership, and we have some practical programs for postgraduate students. Um, one of which is the um, Oxford Global Leadership Initiative, trying to draw together postgraduate students such as um, yourselves here, if you're an Oxford um, China scholar, and actually a colleague of mine, Lula Wang, is here. Lula herself was an alumna of um, Peking University and of Oxford as well, and works with me, with me as part of that Oxford Global Leadership Initiative, and we'll say a little bit more now, uh, particularly to you scholars, we'd love for uh, you to hear more. Thank you, Ed. Um, my name is Luna. I really enjoyed the first uh, three pieces of advice to explore and to take initiative and go to a pub. So I want to invite you to explore this leadership initiative and we will make sure that we bring you to a pub as well. <laughs> so I believe that after you arrived in Oxford, you have heard this word leadership 100 times already. And when we think of this word, actually leadership, very often we think of leadership strategies or skills. For example, how to communicate more effectively, how to develop the leadership strategy. Um, but the unique thing about this program, actually, it has a special focus on character. It's definitely not that we think the skills are not important, but actually we do care about who you are before what you do. And we think that the character is extremely important. It's not just a missing piece of the current popular leadership conversation, but actually it's the foundation of all that we're doing. So there's a very famous saying which can be traced back to Plato. Uh, it says that character is what we do when nobody is watching. The character is the inner core of who we really are. And when nobody's watching, and actually our behaviors are flowing out from our character. But I think in a leadership context, we probably need to add another half sentence to it. And character is also what we do when everybody is watching. Because we don't live in isolation, and we are not just sailing in a peaceful sea. We are actually facing an ever more fast-changing world with the rapid development of technology, globalization. As exciting as it is, actually, we're, there are so many challenges which come with it as well. So the question is, can we actually hold on to the values we have when we are actually sailing in the turbulence and in waves and tides? So this program actually is really to create a space for us to look inside and to discover that the character and qualities which make who we are and to seek to develop them when we are in Oxford. For example, gratitude, humility, servanthood. And also, um, it's a place for us to look outside as well. Our discussions actually cover a wide range of topics from leading and following and the place of failure in leadership and also the institutional challenges as well. You might be wondering, so what does this program look like in practice? So every year we are forming a very intimate learning community together. It's a very diverse group with people from various academic disciplines and countries, leadership cultures, religions and philosophical traditions. And we come together to form this community and we will meet up from Hillary term. And every term there are two guest speaking evenings and we come together and uh, have a nice warm dinner with a distinguished guest speaker. Our past guest speakers included the former UK cabinet minister and the current chair of UK statistic board and the former presidential candidate in Colombia and the senior academics in Oxford as well as other leading institutions all around the world. And every term we also have three discussion seminars and before that, um, we will send out some reading lists for you to read. And don't panic when you hear the word reading list. It's really light and interesting. It actually
actually have various literature forms from uh, poetry and excerpts from biography and novels and news articles and we'll come together to discuss about them. And also every term we have a day conference as well. And the last year for the um, first day conference, actually we try to bring different kinds of creative forms into the literature conversation. On that first day conference, we invited the jazz professor to come to talk about jazz and leadership. And he actually taught us how to sing a song together as well. And for the second conference last year, uh, we watched the Shakespeare's play King Lear together and talked about how to learn from that about leadership. And also, we will try to connect you with an established leader in your vocational field as your personal mentor as well to meet up throughout the year. So it's a very diverse group and very dynamic program. So I hope that you get a little bit taste about what the program actually looks like. If you're interested in knowing more, um, come to talk to one of us. Our team presence here have Ed and me and Jonathan over there. Uh, ask us questions and also send us an email. There are some green flyers on the way uh, out as well. You can pick up one from the table. And so also I will pass on the application information to Susan as well so you will know how to apply to be part of this learning community. Thank you so much for listening to me and it's a pleasure to meet you all. Thank you.